Hello folks, this is an Inkdependence.com web review of Organic Studio Jane Austen Ink. This is a purple ink. I don't do too many purple inks because boo horn frogs. Uh, I went to SMU as an undergraduate and I've never quite gotten over my distaste for purple. However, this is a great ink. Uh, it's a good purple. It comes in this little, uh, little, well, little box with the Jane Austen. You've got her on there. you got her dates. Uh, you got... Uh, 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 the name of the ink. On the other side, you have you know sort of a little story about her, her notable works, and such. Um, so, Jane Austen comes in a little plastic bottle. These used to be glass bottles, according to uh, some sources, uh, but they kept breaking during shipping, so he decided to go to plastic. And this is actually a pretty decent little plastic bottle. It's not bad. Uh, it weighs less than the glass bottles, that's for sure. Uh, you can see through it a little bit, so it's not totally light, sight, light safe or anything. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of torn, because I would like to display bottles, and so give me just black ones, but on the other hand, uh, I also want to see how much ink I have left. So, uh, you know, whatever, this is fine. Alright, so that's a bottle. Uh, Jane Austen is a purple, it's kind of a violet-y purple. My, uh, my mom used to, like, have African violets when I was a kid, and so I kind of remember violets from that. Uh, but, uh, this does, uh, tend to nib creep a bit, as I mentioned. I use this in a, uh, good enough, uh, turn off my, uh, Avast notification. Alright, I'm sorry, this is, uh, in a Franklin Christoph 27, which is their Collegia model. Uh, this one, which I've been using a ton lately. I'm gonna have to get another Collegia or another Franklin Christoph of some kind, because I really like this pen. Um, I only used my broad stub on this one, the one that was ground by, uh, Mike at work, uh, for... Frank and Christoph. I also had it in my Twisby 700, but that's with a Knox medium nib, so it's kind of a generic medium. It's not one that most people are going to know. It's not the natural Knox nib. Uh, not, uh, sorry, not the natural Twisby nib, I should say. All right, um, this ink is a little bit on the wet side. Uh, it does bleed a little bit through paper, uh, not on uh, this paper, as you can see. Even the swatch that I put on there with a knife smear, uh, which is a great color. Look at that. Great color. Uh, even that one didn't really come through. A little bit of what it wanted to bleed through and some other stuff. I think that black there is actually from this. Uh, I was doing another review underneath it. Um, it does have some, uh, a little bit of an issue with nib creep, so if that's something that bothers you, then, I don't know, wipe your nib off a lot, I guess. It doesn't bother me at all. It lets me remember what ink is in my pen. I have a lot of pens uh, just kind of sitting around and pen parts and, you know, this kind of thing. And All right. Um, so, let's see if it's got any water resistance to it or not. Do a little, uh, drip on here. You see a lot of the purple swirling away, and that's kind of what I expected. I don't expect this ink to have a whole lot of water resistance. It is a purple. Alright, so there we go. Wipe it away. And you can see there you do get a bit of, uh, purple coming off, but not as much as, uh, it could have been. It could have been way worse. Let's see. Focus that in a little bit more sharply. There we go. Yeah, you can see it kind of came off quite a bit. You'll probably still be legible. You're not going to lose all your work if you put your coffee cup down on it. Uh, another blog does a coffee cup test, and I really think that's clever, and I like it, but I'm not going to steal it, so there you go. All right, here it is compared to a bunch of other stuff. This is a very colorful comparison. I didn't have any other purples inked up because I didn't have any other purples at that point. Uh, I do have another purple that's coming up very soon, probably tomorrow, maybe the day after. Uh, Deep Purple from Franklin Kristoff. This is brand new. I've only just gotten it. It's got an entirely different character than Jane Austen. Um, so, you can see next to Franklin Kristoff's Oldie Emerald, uh, Schaefer's Script Blue, uh, Syrah Syrah from Franklin Kristoff. And actually, you can see the transition I was talking about with that ink, if you look closely at this. Uh, on the left-hand side is where the uh, pen started out dry. It's just been sitting on my desk for a while, and as you get through the Syrah Syrah name and into the squiggle, you can see it gets more and more maroon. So that's a thing that that ink does. Um, uh, Organic Studios Arsenic is underneath that. I think that's going to be Arsenic anyway. Uh, it's number five when they gave it to me. My wife is a, a scientist who works on Arsenic. Uh, and so she said, hey, you should name one Arsenic. And he said, great, what color is Arsenic? And she said, it's kind of gray. And he said, awesome, I have a gray. So I think that turned into Arsenic. So that might be an early version. I need to talk to Tyler about that. Uh, Noodler's Habanero, Diamond Matador, which I somehow smeared. It's still smearing. No, just did it. Just must have smeared it when I put it on there. I haven't actually reviewed Matador yet, and that's because I keep forgetting to. It's still in a pen. It's been in a pen for months, uh, and I'm kind of running out because I keep using the darn thing. It's a cool ink. But uh, Jane Austen, Organic Studio, a purple that actually might make me like purples. And I showed actually a little coffee filter chromatography in another video, and somebody thought that was interesting, so I'll show another one. I did this for Jane Austen. Uh, I know that Tyler Hand makes all of his inks, so I was curious about what he puts in them. 
Uh, let's see, come on, focus. iPad. One day I'll actually get a legit camera, but for now, iPad. All right. You can see that there's uh, a bit of pink, a bit of red, but this bit down here where the ink starts out just kind of goes away. Uh, I find that kind of is pretty typical of a lot of these um, inks that aren't water resistant at all. But you can see some some light violet up here and some like dark black around the edge a little bit, like a little gray or something. Anyway, that's a fun thing to do. Uh, and as I mentioned before, all you have to do is just put a couple of drops of ink at the uh, I don't know, here-ish on a coffee filter, and then put the uh, end in water, just let it sit there for a second, and then pull it out. And it will push the inks, uh, the pigments in the ink and such, up through the paper. Don't leave it there too long, or it'll hit the end, and then you'll lose all this fun banding. All right, so there's a little bit of science for you. There's some Jane Austen for you. Uh, see you later.